they're going to review so in this episode i'm going to be reviewing a pellet out at 30 and 40 yards using three different rifles with three different barrels so the pellet on the table today is the h&n barracuda ft so these have been around for quite a while now and they come in obviously different head sizes 4.51s 4.52s i think and i believe they make a 4.53 possibly so they are quite a versatile pellet now I do believe some people have actually, you know, won competitions with these and a lot of guys down at the range use them as well. Uh, they're slightly bit heavier than the normal, obviously, well, than the Barrier 8. They're, they are 9.57 grain these, which means that, you know, they're a little bit heavier. So the wind shouldn't really affect them as much as an 8 grain pellet um, down here. But, yeah, we're going to give this a go this week and we're going to have five shots at... 30 and 40 yards with them and see what kind of groupers we get with them. So let's get into it. So the first gun we're going to use to test the Barra FTs are, is the Anschutz uh, 9015. Now, I have done a review on this before. This is my very own Zenith tuned one with my custom Warren Ed Edwards stock. Um, I've recently changed over the scope on this because um, I'm going to start using this for bench rest. After we did the um, Camelot's Cup on Sunday, I had a got bench rest and I quite liked it. And this was the gun that was probably most suited to, to bench rest. So this is now going to be my new bench rest gun. Now I have just previously used this quite a lot on the HFT circuit. But um, yeah, so we're going to give this a go on the bench rest. But today we're going to, like I said, we're going to have five shots with the Barrow FTs out at 30 and 40 yards. So let's see how we get on. Quite a good fit in the barrel. Quite a nice little group of group at the minute coming on. Last shot. Yeah, that's not a bad group. We'll obviously show you in a minute when we get the results in. Um right, so on to the next rifle now. We're gonna use um something that I've recently got from More Edges um off Richard. It's quite an old rifle, but I like the look of it and it's going to be my new HFT rifle that I'm going to be using. So it's the Daystate Griffin. So this is the Daystate Huntsman Griffin. Um, they made a limited edition version of this and then they did a production run. This is one of the production run ones. It's got a Wolfer barrel on it. So let's see how the Wolfer prefers that, well, likes the old um, Barrel FTs. Yeah, that's not too bad a group either. So now we've done the Griffin at 30 yards. We're going to try the BSAS LX because they obviously have their own cold hammer forge barrels. So we'll give it a go with the BSA. 
Right, so now we're going to do five shots um, with the BSA R12 SLX at 30 yards. Let's see how we can do this. So that's it. So now we've done it 30 yards. I'm going to push it out to 40 and see what kind of groupings we get at 40 yards. So now I've pushed it out to 40 yards. So we'll have a five shot group and see what we get with the, um, the SLX. Now I will adjust and give this half a mil dot on the scope just to give a bit all over. So smooth is cocking on the BSA. Right, so that's five shots with the BSA SLX. Now we'll do a reverse order. We'll get the Griffin out and have another five shots with the Griffin. Right, so um, we'll push the Griffin out to 40 yards. Now with the Barracuda FTs and see how we get on with this. See what kind of Griffin we get. I'll give this a bit of hold over as well, just to try and get it on site. Not going to lie, this is a really good grouping, but the winds took it clean off the target and we haven't hit the target. But I've aimed at the same point every time, so we get the group. That's five shots with the Griffin. Um, yeah, let's get the uh, Anschutz back out and have another five shots with the Anschutz at 40 yards. Now we'll... Uh, do five shots with the Zenith tuned and shots at 40 yards and see what the old Barrier FTs are like. One thing I've noticed about these, that's what I've been doing, they are quite a dirty pellet, there's quite a bit of swarf on them, or they're a bit dirty, so probably a bit of a downfall, but probably do it clean. Right, that's five shots with the um, the hand shots. Now, we're, before we get the, the, um, the results in, we're going to give them a quick weigh, uh, do a quick close up, and we'll show what they're like and see how consistent they are in weight. So, the Barracuda FTs in 177 Kyle, um, on the first, obviously, glance, um, they do look a bit of a dirty pellet to me. I would definitely give them a bit of a clean, to be honest. Yeah, you don't have to, obviously, but you know, I, I would. 
Um, they say that these pellets weigh in at 9.57 grains. So we're going to weigh five pellets and see if we can get a bit of an average and uh, see how we get on. Also, the amount of pellets you get in a tin is only 400. It's not 500 like a normal tin of pellets. So just bear that in mind if you're going to buy some. So pellet number one. Ten grains. Pellet number two. That's weighing at ten grains as well. Pellet number three is nine point eight, that corn fat. Pellet number four is nine point eight as well. Yeah, about 9.8 averaged out at. And, oh, pellet number five. Tank, no. Oh, 9.6, I'd say that one averaged out at. So, consistency in weights, once again, they're a bit all over the place, a bit skew with, so, yeah, bear that in mind as well, but, you know, I think we're an we average tin of pellets. You don't you, without you get probably will get three or four different weights, as um, they're not graded like like they do for the Olympic shooters. But there we go. So let's get the results in from the, the thirty and forty yards and see how we got on. The thirty yard results are the um, and shots. That's a thumbnail. The Griffin, although we got we've got a flyer there. That's well, that's a little finger to me, really. And the same with the BSA, that's about a thumbnail. So, yeah, at 30 yards, they do group well um, with, obviously, an Anschutz, a, a Wolfer barrel, and the BSA called Hammerforge barrel. They all, they all group well at 30, I would say. And at 40, my 40 yard results, the um, Anschutz really opened up quite a lot. The Griffin, that's about a thumbnail still. Like I said, it is quite. It was quite windy just somewhere over this. That's why I obviously missed the target, but I aimed for the centre each time, and that's where my group landed. To give you a kind of, you know, to give you a true, true report of it. And the BSA, you know, that's what about an inch, maybe or something like that. So that's not too bad. But I think the actual overall winner for the best group at forty yards was the the, the Griffin. So it's a a Wolfer Wolfer barrel. So. These little pellets are the old Barrow FTs. Yeah, they've, you know, like I said, they've been around quite a while now. They are a great little pellet. I'd recommend to give them a quick clean if you're going to use them, if you want to. Like I said, you don't have to, depending on what you're going to use them for. Um, marks out of 10 for, for obviously consistency and all round, I'm going to give them a 7. Um, they would make a good hunting pellet. And obviously, as for target pellet, I don't really know. I mean, yeah, all right. You could probably shoot them in the Griffin, um, on the on the you know on the course because you're taking forty five yard shots with them. You know, you, you're going to hit it with that group, and you got with the Griffin, um, quite possibly with the, with the BSA as well. To be honest, the Anschutz, I, I wouldn't um, recommend using these parts of the Anschutz for you know the HFT course. But yeah, that's it once again. The H and N Barracuda FTs, at nine point five seven grains. There we go. Thanks for watching, guys, once again. If you liked this little video, please like, subscribe, and share. And um, hit the bell for notifications because it really does help the channel. And um, I really do enjoy doing it for you. So I'll see you all again next week. Cheers, guys.